Hello everyone, welcome to my channel in today's video. Today my family and I are going to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. Um, I'm on winter break right now, which is why I'm not in Boston currently, but we don't live that far outside of the city, so we're just gonna take a nice little day trip into Boston, go see the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, maybe walk around a little bit. It's a lovely day outside, even though it's like January, it's like 60 degrees. So um, yeah, hopefully it'll be a really good day. I've always wanted to go to the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, and I've been to like the Museum of Fine Arts, and I've been to like a bunch of museums around Boston, but like I have always made plans to go to the Isabella Stewart Museum with like so many different groups of friends, and every single time the plan has just fallen through for like completely like organic reasons, but it was just like, I feel like it's just like fate that I like haven't gone. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go and um, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Palace in the courtyard room in the East Palace Cloister. Oh, East Cloister. <laughs> this is the Spanish Cloister over here. It's hard. Why? Here? Yeah, how? Replace the two story music room that originally occupied the space with three galleries on the first floor the Spanish Chapel, the Spanish Cloister, and the Chinese Lobulia. Yeah. And the spacious tapestry room on the second floor, so she made it into two floors. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like that. This stupid little thing keeps falling off of me. You know, the um, Museum of Natural History used to have these, and then they got rid of them because they're such a waste of plastic. Harvard? But yeah, they had like they had like a couple of days where you could like go back and return them and get them for free, so that they could like properly dispose of them. Because they were like, wow, we're wasting so much plastic by giving these out. So now what, you just pay. Them. Yeah, you just pay it, or you get like a ticket or something. I don't think I've been since they did that though. It's interesting that they keep saying that like they can't remove anything or like move anything because it has to be done the way that she wanted it to. But in that intro session, that lady was saying that like those two really famous paintings, like the self-portrait of like Raphael or whatever, mm -hmm. and the other one, they like used to be together and now they're in two separate rooms. Oh. What? This is the triumphs of love? Chastity and death. So love. here's love. That's Cupid. Yeah. This must be. There's the tr triumph. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there he is. Why would you put that? Is that Hades? I have no idea why you want to put all that together. Oh, there he is. So I'm surprised the things they do. Look at all the dogs, though. I do. I've been to Italy. You've never been to Italy. In the 13th century. How was it? Why is David Jesus always doing this? Because there's disease and pestilence. 
<laughs> not quite. Because yeah. he was blessing the people. He was a baby, so he didn't have the fine motor skills to do it yet, though. So he was just practicing. <laughs> 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 That's probably her. She's the only woman who ever had fun in life. <laughs> That's fine. Look at all the little bees on it. I like the bees. Bees? Yeah, look, they're so cute. Finally, some bee appreciation up in here. I'm touching 16th century wood. They feel really smooth. That's really cool, actually, that she would have this. They're obviously meant to be opened because they have art on every side of them. Well, don't touch the art, but you can move the... <laughs> this is the tapestry room. See, you'd know if you were in the tapestry room when you get to the tapestry room. Oh, this is the tapestry room. It smells good. It smells old. It's really dark in here. Doesn't it? It just has that good old museum smell to it. A frame with no picture. <laughs> Heisted. I wonder if like those little what are those those cards? Do they have them in here? Why doesn't anyone say anything about the heist? <gasps> there was three. Heist. Okay, what's which ones? They don't say they're missing. They just say what they. That's as if they're still there. Like, That's really um, creepy. It is. I think it's five, right? It's three and, f oh, it's five and 14, right? Yeah, Rembrandt's both. A lady and a gentleman in black. That's so sad. And then what is the other one? 14? The on the Sea of Galilee. Oh, that one sounds good. It does sound good. I'm not enjoying it though. <laughs> I know, that's <laughs> kind of mean. I wanted to see that one. What was it? It was Rembrandt's. One oh, is, Rembrandt. It was the no, oh, not this one. A storm and Sea of Galilee. Oh. And a lady and a gentleman in black. Dang it. Snatched up. Why can't they take one of the other million pictures of the virgin and the boy? <laughs> oh, I feel like I've seen that too. It does, it looks like Niccolo Machiavelli. Oh, Portrait of a woman. No, Dick Van Dyke? Right. That's not the right one. So what is it? Am I not looking at the right wall? Oh, you are. Number four. Self-portrait. Age. Dutch. Rembrandt. Oh. So that's why we've seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> that would make sense. What does it say? Oh, obviously that's her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what you hear. So I don't pay it Uh... 1888 oil on canvas. I want a portrait of me. Can I, you commission an artist to mm -hmm. do one? As this one was not open to the public during Mrs. Gardner's lifetime. So it was she a studio. Painting of herself in here. She's gonna be like oh, that old thing. I well, feel like it's like the the finishing piece, you know, of like the whole mm -hmm. museum. It's like, and to top it off, right next to Jesus. They couldn't yeah. open it. That's what they were saying. They what? couldn't open the big book. Because oh, because it would fall apart. Were... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they're naked. Mom, they're naked. <laughs> She's got a little sprig. <laughs> He's flattering himself. <laughs> We're now at the cafe at the museum. And the food is like really good. We have chickpea fries. I don't remember what kind of sauce this is, but it's so good. Anyway, I thought the museum was really cool. I don't know, I think like, she looks 
recreated like so many different places in Europe and Africa and Asia and like Boston. It's not easy to do. I don't know how she got half the stuff here. I don't know how she acquired all this. It was all like her own personal art collection that she just like decided she wanted to open a museum one day. And so she just started collecting art. And then they were like, you should probably open a museum. And then she built up herself a palace and made a museum. And I want to do that. I want to travel the world and just collect everything. Altars and walls and fireplaces and doors and bring them back on my boat. <laughs> Spend six weeks in Venice meeting all, I don't even know, Rembrandt. <laughs> Was he not Dutch? No. I don't know. Have dinner with Oscar Wilde and Charles Dickens. That would be a little bit <laughs> The modern equivalent. You taste it first, but it does, it looks nice. It does look nice. There's nice pink This is polenta with some sort of sauce. Mushrooms, I think that's feta cheese and little sprigs of something. <laughs> I don't know. What did you get? Pasta with uh, lamb. Very good. Peach and salad. All right, fill me first bite. That is the only time I had one hand like this. That's too big. <laughs> we could come here for dinner. Isn't it really good? Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. The mushroom. Oh, oh. 